Now, hi, my name is Jay Kandapuli. I'm a professor in service management at the Ohio State University uh, and also the editor of the Journal of Service Management. Um, I'm here at the Pano College to um, teach on, on service management uh, to, to the master's degree students. Service management is relatively a, a new topic area. Uh, in today's world, um, firms compete through services rather than through products or uh, any anything else. Uh, in the past, uh, products had um, competitive advantage because firms had one particular product and nobody else could compete or nobody else could copy it. Whereas uh, today, most products, whether it's computers or televisions or uh, even hotels, um, cannot claim that my computer is fundamentally different from the computer the other firm produces. And therefore, when the product became very, very similar between one product, one company to the other, the only way companies can differentiate between one to the other is using services. Customers value service more than the product. For instance, if I were to go to a hotel, the hotel bedroom or the beds or the, the seating in my restaurant doesn't attract me. Yes, it's comfortable to sit down, comfortable to lie down and sleep, but I don't remember the seating. I don't remember the bed, but I remember how friendly people were, how much they helped me to make my life easier. So service is all the things that we have to plan beforehand so that when customer comes, we, have to, we will be able to offer them all those things which will make their life easy. So just like a product that if I was manufacturing a computer, I have to design it so that when I open, it automatically you know, comes on, it, when I close, it automatically shuts off. All those things, the engineers designed it. And therefore, it is now easy for me to work on the laptop. The same way, services also need to be designed, just like the engineers design a computer. So designing services are relatively new. Yes, it's important to smile, it's important to say hello. That's not enough. That's not what the customer is looking for. The customer is looking for many, 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 many things. And, and therefore, we have to plan beforehand all these things uh, so that when the customer comes or when the customer asks for or when before the customer asks for, we have a solution. Okay. So those are designing the services to, to meet the expectation. Meet the expectation of many, many customers, not just one customer, because we get many customers. Many customers, unfortunately, ask many different type of things. So unlike in product, when we buy a laptop, it can be used by anybody. But in services, if you go to a restaurant or if you go to a, a doctor, receives say, a patient, every patient comes with a different demand. So also in a restaurant, every customer comes with a different need, different expectation. So uh, that's more challenging than designing a product. That means you, know, you have to change according to the needs of the customer. So we can't expect that every customer will receive our services exactly the same way. So we should be just like actors, be able to act according to the needs of the customer. And those are all you know, pre-planned. We have to pre-plan all of them. And th those are called service design. So learning how to manage these things uh, is, a, is a very complicated issue and, and important to learn as well. Uh, I hope uh, you'll be able to join uh, and learn service management uh, from Panel College. I think it is one of the very few colleges that teach service management at, at this level, at master's level, to, to provide um, knowledge to managers and prospective managers